So you're making a game and you want to upload it into Steam, but you don't know how. Well, today I'm gonna go ahead and teach you on how you can do it. So basically, I'm a game dev and I have already published my game before into Steam, so I know all the processes you have to do. So today I will teach you on how you can actually go ahead and make it too. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we will need is to actually create a Steam account. Yeah, you actually need one. So yeah, so basically you sign in uh, or sign up if you don't have a Steam account, which if you don't have a Steam account, you're weird. But anyway, sign up, sign in, whatever you need to do. Okay, you need the Steam account, great. All right, so the next thing that we need is to sign up on Steamworks. So basically, you probably will be wondering, well, what is Steamworks? Well, Steamworks is um, the developer uh, backend of Valve uh, to basically is where all the developers will uh, manage their game uh, to be able to upload it into Steam, okay? So you will need to sign up uh, as a company, okay? So you are, uh, you know, if you're actually like a team, uh, you will need to have like an actual company, which I know a lot of people don't have, so it's a bit trickier than you think. But if you are actually one person, you can actually um, sign in as just, well, sign up as, as just one person. So it's easier for you, okay? So yeah. Then you will have to go ahead and create a nap, um, which there's this button in the uh, Steamworks dashboard once you go ahead and just uh, sign uh, up or whatever with your company. And you will actually need to pay $100. Yes, you have to pay money. To be able to publish your game to steam and this is just a safety filter so you know not everyone can just upload the game to steam that they really didn't you know care or whatever it just i have filtered to avoid having a lot of abominations in the steam page <laughs> but yeah it's, it's what you have to do guys okay but actually when you reach in a certain amount of uh, sales they actually return you the hundred dollars so Pretty cool deal, Valve. Anyway, once you create your game, you have to, you know, upload uh, all your icons, uh, screenshots, uh, fill in the description, etc. All the required things, of course, to set up your Steam page. Uh, so then, when you have everything ready, you can just, uh, you know, uh, send uh, the page for review. Now, they will take a couple, a couple of days, but then um, they will be able to uh, you send some feedback saying, well, it will be better if da -da 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 -da, or if they reject it, well, um, you have to change this, etc. They don't really give a lot of information, it's here a little um, you know, clues, but um, you know, so sometimes it's hard to know what is the thing that they don't like. But anyway, um, you know, you just change that and you're good to go. And uh, once you have your page review, you can just put it public, and there we go. People can start wishing, uh, making wish lists on your game. Then to upload your game to Steam, uh, it's actually not just a drag and drop files. Okay, you can do that if your uh, you know your game is zipped and it's like uh, a very small size. But probably your game is gonna be bigger than the size because it was like a you know some just megabytes. So probably your game is gonna be bigger than that. So you need to definitely install the Steamworks. Um, CMD, which is just a uh, some console commands and the Steamworks SDK. So basically, you can just put your uh, you know your final build of your game or your package part into a certain um, folder, and then with that, you say which folder, etc. You run the command and you sign up uh, with your um, Steamworks account, and it will send it into these uh, servers. So then back in your Steamworks dashboard and your uh, game, um, you know, settings and app settings, you can just uh, change the builds that you have. So it's really cool. It, it's a bit confusing, but as you look at it, it will make much more sense. So that's pretty much it, what you have to do. Now I will be leaving some tips. First of all, um, always, always, always go ahead and make sure to go ahead and uh, set up your Steam page uh, as public way before the release of your game it is really really important to steam to have wish lists before uh, the game releases because uh, steam will basically share um and you know and promote your game uh, at the start mainly by the number of wish lists that you have because it makes sense it's the amount of people that are already interested in your game so there's a lot of people people will sh uh, you know steam will show it to more people it's really really important okay but yeah that's really all guys um one more thing is that uh you know the steam support is actually incredible uh, valve uh, will always go ahead and re um, you know, respond to all uh, you know the um questions that you have so they're qu really quick and they will solve all the things one time i i wanted to uh, have my game into a steam sale but i think it was like too late into the steam summer sales something like that and basically 
um, I just uh, asked them and they said yeah, yeah it's okay and they set me up uh, for the um, uh, steam sale a bit late uh, I was a bit late so I can do it like manually so with their help uh, I could basically do it so really cool I appreciate uh, all the guys involved also uh, please check out my uh, game which is on Steam Bromelite a survival game uh, I really really recommend it so go ahead and check it out so that was it guys if you found this video helpful and really enjoyed it please like and subscribe I would really really appreciate it okay also check out my Unreal Engine and Game Dev tutorials on my channel I have a lot of them which are very very helpful for you and with all that said Bye-bye.